All right, hold on. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done this. <sighs> now I got to turn on the lamp. Fuck the lamp. Fuck the lamp. We're just doing it raw right now. All right, so my son Zimmerman is walking, much to the veil of everybody else, including the people that were hoping the happening was going to happen, but that shit ain't happening. <laughs> A lot of people seriously thought that there would be riots and people getting shot up in these strip clubs, bodegas on fire, uh, men and women being shot up by them, by them AKs. Nah, that shit ain't happening. I'm sure that's what Ron Paul thought was going to happen if you didn't vote for him, but... <laughs> The whole situation is, quite frankly, a little disappointing. Bulbasaur himself said that uh, we've made this mistake again and again, hoping that there would be some World War Z, race war, Black Panthers versus KKK type Armageddon, but that shit ain't happening, man. It's just another media distraction that's run its course. Sadly, it's run its course on Sunday and not Monday. Otherwise, the news would have a big-ass story to tell in live broadcasting and get a bunch of viewers. But, no. It happened on the weekend, so... Just another reason why I don't like the weekends. Hmm. But really, my news feed is no different than on Facebook than news feed from the NBA Finals. It's just a bunch of butthurt ass people. There was no justice for Trayvon. Wow. I'm so angry. Superman deserves to die. My son Kevin Hart, that four foot tall dick squeeze that posted up that uh, Twitter post giving a fake address that was supposed to be Zimmerman saying y'all already know what to do man he gonna learn a day <laughs> funny thing is that Kevin Hart is funny when he's actually getting real money for this shit but on free TV or Twitter he's no different than any other light skinned guy that thinks he has a sense of humor cause he's sensitive as fuck Alright, uh, here, David. Thanks. Now I can see you guys better. But, seriously, that actually went viral on Twitter. His fake-ass address. Y'all niggas really think that Kevin Hart knew where George Zimmerman lived? All right, all right, all right. I know you guys are fucking impressionable as all shit, but <clears throat> I mean, I know why he posts something like that because he's a buff, hurt ass douche too. But I kind of like Kevin Hart, so I'm not gonna violate him that much. No. And then there was the other thing post court, the post the court decision where. They all thought that Obama was going to reverse the thing, adjudicate it, take it to higher court, investigate it, and reverse it. Even though it goes against, basically, double jeopardy. They thought, oh, he's going to get around it. No, he's just doing his job, which is to take things into higher courts, review cases after they're complete, and basically to be a fucking president. <laughs> So he's not going to reverse the decision because of ideology. This is the one time that Barack Obama isn't being a dickhead. 
And I'm gonna see to it that he continues with that. He's not going to, but... Better. Oh, and uh, Union Square. They're having a bunch of protests there. There's always protests in Union Square. I know I was in one for that Restore the Fourth thing, which was a few weeks ago, and that one was terrible. That was like last week. That was that was the Fourth of July, and that was full of hipsters and foreign guys that don't know what everyone's saying, but because they're used to protesting or being an intense political bullshit, they're just do it. They like insurrection or some shit. <laughs> um, let's not forget the libtards and the Marxists and all these other ten genital douchebags. <laughs> Is that even the right word to use? Probably not. So what can I say about this whole thing? Wow. Should I be happy that Zimmerman is walking? I mean, there's gonna come be a time where self-defense is no longer an excuse for causing harm to another person. Here in New York, at least, if you do engage in harm, you have to justify every act of self-defense, every blow, every action, and it's really a last-ditch effort. You have to run away if you want to defend yourself. You can't just let the Glocks pop. Which is why Trayvon is basically such a his case is such a good distraction. The guy brought Skittles to a gunfight. But anyway... I shouldn't be happy because... Now we're just probably gonna get a worse media distraction. All That's all I see right now, just distraction upon distraction upon distraction. I, I miss when... I was oblivious to the news, but then I got Facebook and got out of MySpace, so that was a stupid decision on my part. I should have stayed on MySpace with all the fake-ass rock bands and emo kids that probably already killed themselves and the cam whores who are financial dominatrixes harassing 12-year-old boys and 30-year-old basement dwellers. It's it's a sad, sad world out there. And I hope you guys can... I don't know. Learn something from it? I'm done with this shit. Peace out, guys. It's Mr. Maka7, and... Stay classy, Goyam.